All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to these Divinity, these Divine Tarot. Thank you for joining in with me today. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Once again, thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful Moonology series. I am not sure the episode number. Check the title because I had long since forgot. Before we do though, it should go without saying, please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading. Now, I know I just said that time and energy are fluid, which they are. However, I am still using time in a sense for chronology or just to keep things in order, right? So it'd be easier for you to follow along. When I do call out date, signs, and times, I am using Eastern Standard Time, so please keep that in mind. And again, that goes to show that time is really fluid because it will be different. It may be different for you depending upon where you are on the globe, right? Again, it really doesn't matter. I tell you all, all the time, signs affect us in some shape, form, or fashion, no matter what part of the globe we're on, right? It's just the energy and the vibe, okay? Now, also keep in mind that these are general. Not all may apply to you. Just take what does and let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I do not know. I could just be talking about collectively, overall, right? However, whatever. Always use your free will and discernment. Take what applies and let the rest fly, all right? I am not responsible for your feet, your toes, nor them currents hurting because you decided to force something that didn't fit and wasn't for you, okay? We also do not subscribe to gender roles over here. However, you will hear me say he, she in reference to masculine and or feminine energies just depending upon what I feel and read intuitively. We all have them both within us. So again, that really doesn't matter, but you need to flip flop yourself as you need to and as you see fit, right? Do not force it though. I am big on numerology. Whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, the day or month that you're born, Maybe even potentially the house you want to pay particular attention to that's in your natal chart. And you can use your own due diligence and free will to look that up if you are so interested, okay? There are a lot of free sites to do so. At this point, you should see the primary decks that we are utilizing throughout this series. One serves as the header, the other as the finisher. The header is intended to bring forth the overall message or advice that Spirit has for us. The finisher is intended to bring forth um, messages to grow on, take with you, or advice of things to look forward to, potentially, or maybe even to try to avoid, right? It just depends on whatever comes out. The variable throughout this series is the tarot, which this, the next few episodes, you will see this beautiful deck. The Muse Tarot is what we're utilizing, okay? This is intended to bring forth um, clarity or confirmation even, just to give you a little bit more in-depth uh, look into what this, the overall vibe or energy of the header may have to do with or deal with, okay? And then I've added uh, this combo deck that you see here. It's basically, it'll make more sense once we get towards the end of the reading with the finishers because they leave you with uh, gemstones, metals, crystals that you could potentially utilize with this energy or to help you heal or whatever you're going through, right? And so they give a little more in depth into the crystals and possibly even Masters Mystic Saints. That's if I'm able to even find said crystal within this deck. Sometimes I'm not always able to. Same thing with this deck, uh, the Crystal Mandala. Sometimes I can find the gems or crystals, sometimes not. And again, it, they will uh, likely lead you to a God Goddess or a Master Mystic Saint potentially that you could utilize who may be helping you through this or who whom you can call upon if you so choose. And then we've also added this beautiful deck to the family, to the group, because it's like a sister, cousin, brother, I don't even know, to the header, right? Beautiful deck. And this is intended to, as it states, to bring forth the manifestations that you may be intentionally or even unintentionally trying to bring forth into your life because your 
subconsciously your higher self may be trying to get your attention to focus on this particular manifestation i have no idea okay i also utilize this book to reference and i love this book it's a great book whether or not i can find the crystals um or gemstones in either of the combination deck or the crystal monolith deck i do use this uh to bring forth healing modalities that the crystals from the finishers uh hold and you know may, and that may help i'm sure someone even if not you maybe someone you know who may be dealing with again whatever energy or vibe we're talking about okay all right now we can get into the prayer <laughs> To the most high heavenly and divine angels ancestors spirit gods i come to you saying thank you thank you thank you thank you so very much for this day for this opportunity thank you for blessing me thank you for waking me up this morning and closing me in my right mind thank you so very much for the insight the clarity the wisdom the stability the mental stability especially thank you for the visions for the downloads thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages to the collective straight and clear no chaser Thank you so, so very much for the use of my tongue, my voice. Thank you for the voice of reason. <laughs> Thank you for the jokes. <laughs> Thank you for delivering the way that you do. I love you and I appreciate you. I pray as always that the message of lifts, enlightens, strengthens, heals, protects, nurtures, nourishes, whatever the viewer may need at the time of viewing and may it play out in their lives or any and all involved for the highest and utmost good as I know you will see fit for this all other blessings i come ask and give thanks yet again ashe 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 all all right you guys let's dive on in it shall we all right y'all now real quick let's let's uh recap the focus of this of today's video is to um dive into the energy of the full moon which will um occur on the 14th of june in the sign of sage or cappy and or cappy i should say now i told you i spoke briefly last episode about the fact that this full moon it will be high vibe time in the sign of sage at 7 51 a.m and um then it will transition into the sign of cappy at 18 14 high vibe time okay which is 6 14 okay now sage affects the liver hips thighs and sacrum Cappy affects the backbone, joints, knees, skin, and hair. All right. Now, last episode, we focused on the first quarter moon in Virgo, which Virgo affects the pancreas, small intestine, and GI. Okay. In order to get from the last quarter, or excuse me, why did I say last quarter? Did I say last quarter? I meant first quarter if I said last quarter. First quarter moon in Virgo, in order to get that from there to this full moon in Sage or Cappy, the moon has to transit transition through virgo into the sign of libra which it does so on the 8th at 11 23 a.m and then libra affects the kidneys ureter bladder veins and skin and then it will transition from libra to scorpio on the 10th at 1641 which is 4 41 p.m and scorpio affects the genitals anus urethra and prostate and then it will transition, of course, from Scorpio into Sage on the 12th at 1832, which is 632 p.m. And as I've already told you, Sage affects the liver, hips, thighs, and sacrum, okay? Now, moving from this full moon into the following week, because I'll be telling y'all the energy, especially of the new and full moon, really may take effect like a week or two prior, at least a week, Um prior and or after you may feel this energy or vibe it's very potent and powerful energy so that's why i like to go and i've and I, if, if you haven't noticed um as of late i've been even doing it for the first and last quarter moons because i want you to see the transition and the change okay that we're going through coming out of and or going into right all right so the following week after the this full moon in Sage or Cappy, the moon will um, transition from Cappy into Aqua on the 16th at 1744, and then, which is 544 p.m., Aqua affects the calf, shin, ankle, and Achilles, and then it will transition from Aqua to Pisces on the 18th, excuse me, um, it's something about this four, because I was about to say fourth, it's, it's going to be in waning gibbous four, but it's something about that four. Anyways, uh, it's going to transition from Aqua to Pisces at 19.02 on the 18th, okay, which is 7.02 p.m. Pisces affects 
the feet, toes, and pineal. And then from Pisces into Aries, which will enter into the last quarter moon. Um, the last quarter moon is on the 21st, but it will transition from Pisces into Aries on the 20th at 2337, which is 1137 p.m. Okay. All right. And then Aries affects the head, teeth, tongue, and arteries. All right. Now, like I said, the focus of the is the full moon for this episode. And in getting into the channel messages, for those of you who don't know, I mean, anything to deal with the full moon, that's all about that release, right? A lot of the, typically anyway, let me say it like that, because you still can have, you still can have, um, kind of like newness or change obviously it's, it's going to be changed regardless no matter how you view it really um but generally speaking it's it's that vibe of out with the old so that when we get around to the new moon in a couple of weeks you, that newness can come in from whatever you know really it's kind of like if you look at um depending on what the moon is at the what sign the moon is at the new moon energy you want to look back at least six months prior to that particular moon the moon signs, full moon, what you were doing at that time. I pray that makes sense. So, for instance, <clears throat> since we're talking about the full moon in Sage and or Cappy, you would want to look forward to whatever new moon in Sage or Cappy, what you were uh, manifesting right that's when that will generally come in or what you were trying to bring in and and i pray that makes sense so you may even want to go back to the previous new moon in sage and or cappy to see what you were dealing with if that makes sense okay um because a lot of the times you know it it, it can you can have rapid manifestations i'm not saying that's not possible but it takes time just like Everything takes time, even though there's no such thing as time, it still takes time, right? It, no matter what you're talking about. So, and what I mean by that is like, at least a cycle, because I've been saying this in, in several episodes back, I don't even remember what number at this point, but um, at the fact that there's something about the cycle as these birds going at it back here, there's something about the, a, the cycle, a cycle. And I feel like it may have to do, for some of you, it may have to do with the cycle of the moon. For um, my feminines out there, it may have to do with, well, females, let me say, it may have to do with like literally your cycle. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're if you're very much so divine and, and tapped in and, and, and attuned, especially to this moon energy, it if you're anything like me, like your cycles align with this full moon energy. You understand what I'm saying? You generally are releasing, getting rid of that old gunk, you know, shedding those layers getting rid of that so that the new lining can come in you understand what i'm saying it's the same idea no matter what cycle you're talking about for others of you it may even have to deal with the cycle of like because i said something even last episode i saw somebody going from a cycle in a, and i don't care what it i don't care if it's dealing with mental emotional you know what you're passionate about um or whatever what have you like your your pinnacles right it can be the it can be the source the the wands the cups or the pinnacle or the pinnacles the fact is I saw somebody going from the ace to the 10. That's just what they kept flashing to me in my third eye. So, and I said something about a cycle at that point, like it's, 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 it take, it may even take three times for you to get, finally get it, something like that. But the fact of the matter is three times 10, that's 30 days. You know what I'm saying? That's 30 right there. So that's what I'm saying. It could be a month for some of y'all. It could even be three weeks. Cause it was, I was getting something about the numbers three and seven um and then three times seven i was getting that world energy too so um 21 it could be 21 days it could be it could be, even be seven years um 10 years now i'm here three years uh what i say 21 years something like that it's something about a cycle and then saturn is coming back up now and i said something about that satyrian cycle you know what i'm saying that's that's something about that seven year something in seven years i don't have no idea that's why I said seven years, seven days. It's just, it's something about a cycle, right? Because a cycle can be a week. It can be a month. It can be a year. You know what I'm saying? Or like I said, whatever number, insert whatever number in there for you, whatever resonates with you. And I'm telling y'all now it's something about that four, because I don't even know why, excuse me, they uh, was about to have me say to when, when I was talking about Pisces, 
the waning gibbous score Pisces on the 18th. That may be powerful for some of you. I have no idea. Okay. Um, but as I was saying about the full moon energy, you know, it, it typically is mainly about releasing something, you know what I'm saying? Cause you got to make room for your new to come in and for it to, for us to be in the energy of Sage and Cappy, that's an interesting transition. I don't even know why I'm saying it like that. Cause I don't know, but it is, I, I always get with the Sage. It's, it's like higher wisdom, higher learning, something of that nature for you. And even with Cappy, Cappy to me is the vibe of, I mean, outside y'all know it always gets the bad rep because it's the devil, you know, it's attributed to the devil and the tarot, but I'm not getting it like that. I'm getting, and it may be an addiction or something that you, 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 uh, really, uh, heard stuck to, um, that you're really attached to that you need to let go of. I don't know. But what I was getting is the fact that you know, cabbies are hard, very hard workers. They about their money, baby. They like the king of pentacles to me, them and Taurus. And, and it could be Virgo too, but you know, generally Virgo for me is that queen of pentacles. Either way, what I'm getting to is that Cappy is that determined, like sometimes though you can be, um, I heard overzealous, but it's like, you can work yourself to the bone where you're not resting, you know what I'm saying? And that can be an addiction, your own work. It's, it's okay if you you love to do what you do that's fine but there needs to be a balance there and i feel like i talked about that a little bit last episode with that uh first quarter moon and virgo energy about needing a work-life balance so maybe there may be something coming to the forefront now heavily for you to see and release especially with the sage wisdom you know what i'm saying with these two together that's why i said it's an interesting transition um i have no idea but i feel like too you may start feeling um sensations pulsations throbbing vibrations just the energy of vibe flowing through these areas especially the liver hips thighs and sacrum okay especially that area um and then of course like i said even with cappy because since cappy affects the backbone joints knees skin and hair it's something about that I, I feel i feel major there's a potential for major growth especially like with the hair <laughs> that God, that's where i was hearing that but that could be with anything. And like I just told y'all, especially with Cappy being the strong king of pentacles, it, you can see that in your finances. You can see that you may uh, see that in, even in your fa in your home, right? Um, but I'm getting heavy pentacle, heavy earth energy, something very much so tangible that you're wanting. But I feel like, though, you may have to take a loss. I mean, not in a not it's not going to be that detrimental, though. I'm, I'm just saying it's that fact of you got to let some go in order for this major gain. Wow, and speaking of Cappy, that's like that Satyrian type of energy to me. That's I get that vibe. I don't know. Big Daddy vibes, you know, structure, discipline. Like it's gonna take. It's probably gonna take a lot of you. Uh, it's it's because I heard somebody saying that's asking a lot of me. I mean, to much to what is it? To much is given, much is earned, or however that saying goes. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. You know, the heavy is the head that wears the crown whatever you trying to be the big boss king up in this bi then it takes it takes great sacrifice again i'm telling y'all you got to make room for this energy and it's some heavy energy so it's gonna take a lot for you to let go of but i promise you it's gonna be worth it i promise you that it's i mean it's it's greater <laughs> nobody greater mm -mm. nobody greater nobody greater than you i feel like you were saying that to spirit somebody singing that as a, a praise a worship song but i also feel like it's coming back it's like because i heard back at you spirit is saying that to you because there is nobody that that was greater for this feat for this opportunity for whatever this is in your life you understand what i'm saying insert whatever i don't know you were chosen you were handpicked for a reason don't take your position lightly at all <laughs> right there's a reason and yes you are to enjoy the fruits of your labor that's what this thing is all about but understand you got a mission baby you here for a reason okay all right let's get into the cards all right my beautiful people look at this look at this look at this look at this full moon in gym and what that's probably when i was telling y'all something about that cycle i have no idea i really can't remember to be quite honest i barely remember what i channeled from minute to minute so but still 
because la- what I'm saying is last a couple episodes ago we were getting the new moon I want to say it was a new moon in Gemini and the new moon in Cappy or was it that no I want to say yeah because it was communication is key I do remember that and maybe something about your hard work will pay off I want to say which was uh, like I said I both the new moon energy so I'm I truly feel <laughs> I truly feel for many of you that that this has to do with a new moon to full moon or a full moon to new moon in whatever sign whatever really resonates with you but especially since we're talking about this full moon and sage or cappy go back like i said to the new moon what you were trying to manifest and bring in with that new moon and either one of these signs is energy you understand and see because and in, in some of you i mean even if it's not anything necessary that you're trying to bring in, some of you may have been trying to release something at that point. You know what I'm saying? Maybe something that was no longer serving you. I don't know, baby. Only you know your life and what you've been working with. We will see, too, for for a lot of you, and when we get to the manifestation card, what it really is. <laughs> or maybe what even you're trying to uh, uh, manifest with this full moon energy. I don't know. but um, But anyway... Whatever you have been questioning, you got to receive it. I pray that you're ready. Okay? I do see somebody really been working. They've been going deep within. You know, really reflecting, really doing that shadow work I'm hearing. You really been doing that inner child trauma healing as well. Um it's something big about this shadow side. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You gon you gon you gon dang. <laughs> You're going to get the answers you were, as it says right here in the card. Um, for some of you, it may not even be what you're expecting, I don't think. Because uh, I have just heard, be ready. You know? I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. Mm. Some of you, I mean, it goes without saying, some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. It may just be talking about this season because, I mean, clearly we are in Gemini season. Um, it's really something about this cycle, though, from the new moon to the full moon heavy. That's just what I keep getting. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse. We'll read these at the end once we get through all of the cards, okay? Moving on to the bottom of the deck. See, <laughs> telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, look at this, another full moon releasing type of energy, this time in cancer. Again, you may be dealing with a cancer, could be talking about something um, this past cancerian season. Whenever this full moon comes up in cancer, whatever, what have you. But I'm telling y'all, for those of you who've been putting in work, you've really been doing that shadow work. You've really been trying to heal and you know, get to where you balanced and stable and all that good jazz, baby. Congratulations, while I'm hearing. Uh, I worked so hard, forgot how to vacation. <laughs> yeah, come on, Post Malone. Now, when they see you, all they say is congratulations. Yeah. Mhm. That's what spirit is saying to you. Good job. You done did the work, baby. You done had to move a little. Some of y'all been, yeah, some of y'all moved so different. And I just heard a uh, uh, smooth, smooth criminal, but in a good way. You know what I'm saying? You've been quiet. You've been, you've been a force to be, you are a force to be reckoned with. You've been doing your business in silence. Don't nobody probably even know the stuff you've been going through for real. You've been in your prayer closet. Good, good and faithful servant. You've been that warrior. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Mm-mm-mm. but good job that's why i said you you man when you really put in work and do the work and stay dedicated and loyal spirit see you your, your works don't go unnoticed baby i told y'all not, uh, a couple of episodes ago like you ain't even gotta worry about looking for rewards and accolades and hand claps and pats on the back from anybody outside of you honey because your spirit squad see all that you do that's all that really matters when it boils down to it Nothing even matters to me. However that song go. Yeah. 
that's something I'm hearing that. Um, and I'm also hearing kind of like um, Lauren Hill coming through a little bit. Um, dang, that's not the one I was trying to think of, but I just heard when it hurts so bad. Why does it feel so good? What y'all doing? <laughs> when it hurts so bad. When it hurts so bad. Why does it feel so good? That's some of y'all may have to do with y'all gotta let something go. Cause I think she's talking about a relationship in that in that song, you know. Um some of y'all may have been used to the heartache and pain and it's like, no, you ain't, that's not, no, you don't got to keep going through that. Haven't you learned that lesson? And I told y'all some of y'all, it might be an addiction. Some of y'all, and I'm hearing even sexual now. So it's like, mm, you might want to think twice about that. Release that. You know what I mean? Um, and that's probably why y'all really, that's why I was getting shadow uh, work heavy. So y'all need to <laughs> walk into the dark side. But now really um, evaluate that. What is that that is drawing you to that? Or why do you feel like you really need that? You know, because you don't need that. You know what I mean? But why do you think that you need that? Why is your ego trying to tell you that you need that? What do you feel is uh, protecting you within that? Or what is the comfort within that? You understand what I'm saying? Because generally you fall back on stuff that you're comfortable with. No matter how much is not good for you you know it could be foods it could be drugs it could be alcohol it could be any kind of addiction in that way you know what i mean mm -hmm. but um i do see the healing though and i, I keep this song keep popping up sexual healing sexual healing baby mm -hmm. makes me lose Mind. Mm -mm, don't be doing that now you need to keep that balanced state of mind <laughs> honey you gotta think logically through this sometimes 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 anyway i don't know so that that's very powerful because cancer is uh or i should say the moon is a ruling uh energy over cancer um and interestingly, this as well as Taurus is what this says. You know, you'll see when I get into the reading because this thing came out several times. But it's still the moon in general is still all about your emotional, your emotions, right? Emotional roller coaster. Loving you is never good for me. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't know. I'm telling y'all, it definitely has to do with a relationship for, for many of you, whoever I'm tapping into right now. I don't know. But we're going to move on about it and look. Look, look. Look at here. Look at here. Boy, look at here. Look at this page. Baby, I'm telling y'all, it definitely has to do with a relationship for y'all. And I feel like, especially the ones who I'm saying, like, you got this addiction to this person or whatever it may be, whether it's sexual or just the the addiction to their energy i don't know um some of y'all that that was the whole lesson for you to come out of that that codependency for you to really learn to love yourself right to to but it, it was in order to because you may have been like i said through some heartache and pain or whatever it is with this person um i'm hearing karmic right now but you know whatever titles are just whatever y'all it's whatever you want it to be i don't care what you call it the fact of the matter is because because I feel like any and everything is and can be karmic because you're intended to learn with any and everything you come into contact with. You understand what I'm saying? And I'll be telling you all the time, no matter who it is, it ain't just got to be a romantic relationship or, you know, what I'm saying situation, whatever. Um, it can be friend, family or otherwise. And so but everybody is showing you is intended to be a reflection of you at that point or at some point within your life. You know what I'm saying? And it's in order for you to learn, grow, change, evolve, and keep moving forward. You understand? Keep getting better, stronger, wiser. <laughs> I keep they keep going. I don't even know what song it is. I probably didn't just trying to remix some a couple songs together, but I keep hearing stronger and wiser. Mm-hmm. 
keep lifting me higher and higher. Thank you, Nip. Thank you. Thank you, John Legend. Yeah. But that's it's for you to elevate, for you to ascend, for you to keep going along your journey. Um, this page can also come through as like a um, some kind of offer, even an apology, potentially. It doesn't have to be. Um, I'm getting strong, especially right now. And I, it's that Pisces energy screaming coming through heavy. Um, I'm getting heart chakra awakening, whatever this is that you have gone through. And this is beautiful because this page, thank you, spirit. The page is like my 11s because they generally come after, well, they always come after the 10, but you understand. So, but it's like, I told y'all, y'all went through that cycle and I kept seeing last episode and even during the channeling that, uh, somebody has been, it was going through the ACE, the ACE through the 10, right? So you didn't, you're done with this cycle. You still a little newbie in the game. Because, you know, you done ascended a little bit, a little bit. You know what I mean? You done learned whatever lesson you needed to learn going from the ace to the ten. Now you're entering into the courtship. So now you're getting ready to mature even further, prayerfully. Not quite there. So this person is still a little bit slightly, you know, immature. And I don't want to say immature in a negative way. Just be careful on how you interpret that. All I'm meaning is that they're still young in the game. It's just a young buck. You know what I'm saying? You, you a newbie. It's like going from elementary or 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 uh, uh i was gonna say they done switched it up these days i don't even know where you at because y'all might have an in, intermediate but it's like going from either elementary to intermediate or uh elementary to junior high you understand what i'm saying or even to middle school right or nah yeah nah 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 better yet it's going from middle to high school or junior high to high school you understand because you like a freshman in this thing like quite literally freshman or fresh woman right you 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 ain't a senior yet <laughs> in this game you understand and right here we talk about emotions talking about love right talking about cups so in your heart way like you done been you done been through some 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 heartache and pain let's not get it twisted because you done had to go like i said from the ace to the ten so you done been through some rejection you know what i'm saying been let down you know been been like i said heartbroken or whatever and uh whatever you done been through and i'm not trying to knock it i'm just saying because we all go through it it's for us to learn though that heartache and pain is for it's by design don't ask me why God did it like that. I don't know. <laughs> but I guess because we remember we remember that more. We ain't going to forget those those painful lessons. You understand? That's why they call them growing pains. You know now what you, you learn and I should say. Because you don't quite know. You ain't quite to the queen or king of, of emotions or cups. But you, you getting there. You understand? You got some more lessons, some more classes to take. You know, you may even go through some more heartache. Even maybe with the same person, because this I'm I'm even now getting kind of like a reconciliation type of vibe here. This may be somebody you didn't dealt with in the past, or and or are dealing with. And again, this is uh, cups. It could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Especially we just got the full moon and uh, listen to me. See, a Pisces energy keep coming through strong. We just got that full moon and Cancer at the bottom uh, overall under our energy of the header. So you know it could be anybody. No, doesn't even have to be them. But I do feel, and look look at that. I'm just now, that's really coming through strong too. You see how her, the bottom of her shirt, the phrase are like tentacles, right? So that octopus vibe is coming through. And I feel like that came through a couple episodes ago. But I told y'all then that with the octopus, it can talk about somebody being tied up or, you know, stuck in something, right? Um, but I also always get the energy of regeneration there with the, with the tentacles, right? Because they can regenerate. And so I feel like, and especially with all this red and everything and the way that the, this, the beautiful loving sun rays are coming through, that's almost a, a door to abundance or even a door to romance right there down there at her root or, or even sacral chakra, which is that emotional, you know, that love making center. You know what I mean? Come through Scorpio. Uh-huh. That's who that is right there. Sacral chakra strong coming through there. But, um, but anyway, um, it's like you, you need to renew this area. It, it could be somebody, like I said, it's been talking about root and all that red. It could be somebody within your family. And again, it could be a lover with that scorpionic sacral energy, that sexual healing energy. You know what I mean? It could be anybody. 
It could be a friend who you hold close or dear to you, you know what I'm saying, whom you deem as family and or that you love so much it's almost like, you know, they're almost like a spouse to you or a partner to you. Whatever, I don't know. I don't know whoever that's for. But so you you very well may be renewing this relationship with ever, with whoever this is. I have no idea. But I'm getting that vibe heavy. Y'all done been through some, like I said, because even the little ways, the water down there at the bottom underneath that, her root chakra is talking about that. And I heard emotional roller coaster. I don't know. Maybe you feel like loving this person. Even, and it ain't got to be always and forever, y'all. Because just like you trying to work on yourself and change prayerfully, allow that person to do the same. So it may not be always and forever because now... <laughs> Always and forever. <laughs> Each moment with you is just like a dream to me. Yeah, that somehow came true. Every day, love me your own special way. Melt all my heart away, yeah, with your smile. Take time to tell me you really care. Come on in, and we'll share tomorrow together come on then yeah i'll always love you mm -hmm. anyway moving on to the bottom because we'll be on this all day all day oh Ooh. and i ooh. <laughs> somebody may not be mature emotionally and with this muse of voices this is very much so the king I want to say of uh, voices and um, somebody here is very much so mature mentally or they know I don't know though okay so I'm getting it a few ways right now hold on because right now what I heard was somebody is a smooth talker and they very well can be especially with that page of emotions if this is the same person um they know the right things to say they know the right words to say. Like, I just heard to knock your panties off. Uh-uh. But, uh, yeah, be careful with that. Because I do, I get that whoosh of energy right here with the, um, with the muse. And the way that it's set up right here with this page of emotions, it's almost like that, that when these two ballerinas or dancers, whoever these are, collide and make that whoosh of energy, it's like the air and, 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 and that's even almost like a full moon under, uh, what they're creating, the power and the energy behind that is sending the the rush up her skirt or up her shirt <laughs> y'all understand what i'm trying to say that's what's igniting her heart chakra i don't know it may be this truth that somebody's speaking it may be the clarity that you're receiving in regards to whoever whatever this is um yeah it's just it's it's, it's like a peace of mind is what i just heard too mm-hmm I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Mm -hmm. I can clear all obstacles in my way. That's exactly what this king, this muse of voices is saying. And that's what that happened. Now that you done done with the, the like I said, the heartache and pain, the tears, because somebody done cried their last tears yesterday. You done crying over the spilled milk, whoever this may have to do it, whatever this may have to do it, because it could very well so with that cappy energy have to do with a job situation or a career or, like I said, some home, something like that. I don't know. But whatever the issue, whatever the, the, the thing may be in your life, like I said, whatever this in regards to the channeling messages, whatever this is in your life, somebody sees it clearly now. You understand why you went through what you went through. Like I said, understand what position you've been placed in, what your mission and your purpose is and start living like the muse of voices definitely does. They see things clearly. They know what their mission is. They see their, excuse me, they see the vision very much so clearly. 
and they know how they need to move and groove. You understand what I'm saying? So it ain't no more confusion. You know, you're going to live on purpose. You're going to live your purpose on purpose. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's, that's big, though. That's big. Somebody sees. Oh, wow. Thank you, Spirit. Because I'm seeing this now, too. As you see, the left side of this card of the muse is like the light. And the right side is like the dark. And I'm still, and I'm getting, even in like that full moon Gemini. Anytime I get Gemini, y'all know I um, get that twinning energy. And that's all about looking at your light and dark. The shadow, you know what I'm saying? And light, however you want to look at it. Um, but it's, it's looking at all sides of you. You know, respecting both all there's multiple layers to you we like an onion in this thing <laughs> we like to talk about the light and dark or the shadow and the light whatever whatever but it's way it's, it's way we way more dynamic than that you understand it goes deeper it goes way deeper but either way you're balancing because i'm getting that yin and yang you're balancing this libra energy is coming through strong and generally i get aqua with the king um, but either way, it, it can be any air sign, even including that Gemini, because we got we already saw the, the full moon and Gemini energy in the header. So, whoever, whatever. But I'm strongly getting that Libra and the balance. Well, both, all of them, shit, <laughs> all of them, all air sign can be anybody. All right, all right. Wow, that's powerful. I ain't never really seen that like that. So I feel like too. Um, some of y'all may be blocked. Something may be blocked. And like I said before, especially as far as what I said, you may have to lose something in order for that, that, that I'm hearing the grand again from last episode. I hearing that grand. The kid, they keep saying that for your, your, your grand opportunity, your grand, I heard grand design, grand riches, grandness. I don't even know if that's a word, but that's what I'm hearing. Whatever grand, whatever that means for you in your life. You had it's being blocked until you release, cause they that's what they look like they doing too. They, they you might need to get up and dance. I'm hearing Mary J. Uh, oh, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. I'm hearing Mary J. And I'm hearing uh, Justin Timberlake. Just dance, 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 yeah. Put your body. Mm, 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 just dance, 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 yeah. Don't stop the feeling. <laughs> yeah whatever don't don't block that release that you know get that's what i'm saying get in your heart way allow your heart chakra to open in that page of emotions and just be free baby be a little bit immature until you you learning you learning you learning what this newness this new new in your heart that new vibe that beautiful loving energy you learning how that really truly feels to you and how you want to show your love i love it because I, I forgot um uh, I think it's a song. Maybe it was a video that I had watched. I can't even remember, but um, it's like whoever it was that said it was saying it like your love. You gonna show you gonna show up differently uh, in the way that you love. Now you understand, especially as you grow and change. Always as you should, especially when you learn yourself. Hmm, I don't know. That's 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 big. That's really big. Mm -hmm. I'm even even getting this. I told you I look like a full moon a little bit. I'm even getting now like a hot air balloon. Let rise. And I'll rise up. Rise, baby. Rise. You see they dresses rising. They almost levitating off that ground. Off that bridge or whatever platform. Whatever that is. <laughs> and like Santero says, I'm even seeing these now as the um the um entry thing what's the thing the sphinx in the never ending story it's like you got to have the right you got to have the purest heart the lightest heart right the libra and the scales the ma'a energy your heart needs to be light as a feather you got to release all that pain all that suffering all that regret all that worry and anxiety all that shit you got to let it go in order to enter in the into the door of abundance or romance or whatever it is you seek because i'm seeing this entryway whoever this person is getting ready to walk through like i said the never-ending story entryway i love that movie by the way um you're gonna be tested spirit is gonna test you to see how if your heart is light as that feather and um to see if you've even renewed going back to that page of emotions like i said renewed you know your 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 root sacral solar plexus even heart you know what i'm saying all them all them lower chakras mm -mm -mm. 
That's a lot, though. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, my Lord. Y'all, I can't make it up. First of all, starting from the top to the bottom. I probably should start from the bottom and then now we're here to the top. Either way, Drake, whatever. But the fact that you see that 21 right there. I told y'all I got that world energy. Uh-huh. All right. We're going to come back to it. That's potentially a three. You're moving from a two. Once you really bring yourself into union, you know what I'm saying? Your divine feminine and masculine energies, right? Your shadow and light, light and dark, whatever, whatever. However you want to call it, title it, I don't care. When you bring that into one, then you come into union together with the into the three, mind, body, spirit, right? Spirit, like I told you, is testing you. They're going to test your resilience. They're going to test your, 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 your discipline. You know what I'm saying? To see if you really about what you're talking about. To see if you're really ready for what you're asking for. I told y'all, they said get ready. <laughs> anyway, and I this is what this... Wow, thank you. Thank y'all. This, because this came out, I don't even remember when. But it came out with, I want to say, what was the other one? Will, maybe? I don't know. I want to say it came out with Will. Maybe Will was at the bottom of the deck. But it came out with another card. Regardless, they bringing it back. This is where I said I got that octopus tentacle vibe, y'all. I'm telling y'all, and this, y'all see this, this, this look, she look burdened. She look tired, baby. She is tired. And I always get, bag lady, you gonna hurt your back. Dragging all them bags like that. Hmm. I guess nobody ever told you all you must hold on to is you. Is you, is you, one day, all them bags gonna get in your way, yes, headlight, please let it go, drop the burdens, you ain't gotta carry that no more, spirit wants you to free yourself up, let go of whatever you feel like you tied to, addicted to, you know what I'm saying, that you attached to, let it go. You ain't got to work so damn hard, y'all. You really don't. Whatever, whoever, that's what I'm saying in that cappy energy. That's probably what it is for y'all. Y'all really need a balance in whatever you're doing for work, for real. You, that's that's a lie. That's the greatest lie that everybody, anybody ever told you. Now, it's not to say you ain't got to put in work, right? But no. <laughs> no, not teeth and nails. Not Oh, speaking of teeth and nails with that Aries energy. Mm-hmm. And I meant to say, too, I forgot because I was getting this download, too, from last. Because I think that Aries energy came through at the bottom of the deck in the um, in the um, header last episode. I forgot all about the fact that during um, the month of May, uh, a lot of planets will be transitioning or transiting through the Aries energy. So that very well may likely be, you know, kind of around the time or what this may even have had to deal with i don't know i really don't know but they as i was coming to the location that i am today that was coming back up into my into my mind so that may be for somebody and for me to say teeth and nails and, and be drawn to that aries energy because even after the world you start over that cycle is done it something ended had to in order for you to begin anew lighter freer in that aries uh full energy right I have no idea, but you done made it to the summit. You know what I'm saying? Drop that bag, drop that load, drop them burdens, baby. Let it go. And look, Wayne give us five, y'all. And I told y'all it was something about the four, but this is the five, but it's still going to be in the sign of Pisces. And it's on the ninth. Wow, look at this. It's on the 19th. Um, and it, it will still, like I said, be in the sign of Pisces, but Pisces is about the feet, toes, and pineal. <laughs> okay. Hmm. You didn't carry too much weight. Your ankles hurting. They screaming, honey. They screaming. Drop it. <laughs> Moving on to the bottom of the deck. Ooh, wow. And if this ain't that cappy energy right here, partly, that ego, partly, right? This is all. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Some of y'all are so timid and so like hesitant to shine through 
allow your you need your light and your dark to be quite honest that's why i said honor them both some of y'all done put yourself in a self-inflicted prison mental or otherwise um i feel like more so just emotionally too because you 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 i don't know what you're afraid of you're afraid to let your love shine through you're afraid and why but you you probably feel even isolated i'm feeling i'm hearing some of you feel even like the black sheep because you feel like nobody understands you or nobody sees you for you and it's like but so what that may not be the right crowd for you baby stop trying to fit in where you don't i'll be telling y'all don't force that shit do not force it why you why you gonna force a shoe on that you know about to bring you kerns and hurt your toes and your feet and and just because it's somebody else for somebody else because somebody else told you to or want you to or you feel like if you wear them stilettos you gonna fit into that crowd bitch please i'm sorry i'm sorry no disrespect to anybody but no nah, that's just that's just a statement like no nah. no <laughs> no i don't care i'm here stilettos punks in that club <laughs> no if you ain't a stiletto ho if you ain't rocking stiletto ho it's okay like so what Rock your flats, rock your Tims, rock your Nikes, rock your J's, rock your whatever. Long as you good, long as you comfy, you know. Mm -mm. For some of you, though, this is the fear of even speaking of that. It's the fear of coming out of your comfort zone. Like I said, we typically go back to what we're comfortable with out of fear of change or growing or it's, it's this is very much so a self-sabotaging energy because it's like even with that bird cage it's like and especially with these dark birds crows or whatever they are those are the negative mental thoughts that's why i said mental prison at first and with that cage that's definitely much so what it is like you done been telling yourself this that and the other that's been lies feeding yourself false narratives and believing it allowing other people to do that do so because i you know you can't put all the blame on everybody else because it starts with you you understand and you are the only person you are responsible for working with and changing if you want to be and see that change you understand so it's all about you like uh what's like a child name i got harmonica that is not her name maya it's all about me 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 for real turn that magnifying glass right on around into yourself meaning look in the mirror you understand and face yourself do that inner reflection do that shadow work y'all for real and i promise you you will be set free in that page of uh emotions to fly to soar to let your love shine through i was also going to say with this i'm gathering that spirit put you in your love and light are so bright you i don't even feel like many of you have even scratched the surface of what all you have the potential to do and spirit puts you in these dark places or you may find yourself in these dark places for that reason yes it's hard yes it's tough but you wouldn't be there if they didn't think you could handle it if they didn't know let me not even say think they didn't know you could handle it so baby where that where that hung um, that star where that uh i was gonna say crown where that where that loud and proud hold your head up baby hold it up high not tooting your nose up to anybody or looking down at anybody else but hold your head up high arch your bike put your honey stick your chest out <laughs> say what you need to say in that music voices with your chest boo for real mm -hmm. talk your shit that's what i just heard <laughs> thank you spirit mm-hmm but yeah, come on out of hiding, boo. That's that's really what I get out of this. Come on out of hiding. And it's interesting because even these little darker clouds, like figures up in the corner and almost around surrounding, that's that's like it's like your spirit squad is protecting you though. And right, like looking almost I almost get like a sadness behind it. Because they're like, no, nah, like you shunning us, you darkening, blacking us out, and we here trying to encourage you to come on out, baby shine bright like a diamond come on out expand spread your wings mm -hmm. that is what waxing gibbous too right i can't hardly see it i think that's waxing let's see what that says or when that is waxing gibbous too let me go back 
is on the ninth at or excuse me in the sign of libra yeah that's what it says okay and then i think that's waxing i really can't yeah that's waxing and then it was something else i was gonna say this card what is this is this 11 i believe it is that's that new new y'all like i was saying and it because i told you because that's why i kept getting that reference i didn't even know that that was number 11 you can hardly see it but um that's why i was getting that reference back to the page of emotions it's like open up allow your heart to be free shine your love let it let it radiate on and out and through there that heals that heals it heals the environment that's what it, that's why you're placed in these darker um you know a little more low vibe negative uh environments in order to heal that space god needed you to use your light your love to heal that space needs you to let me say it like that too okay all right moving on baby <laughs> like i was just saying i i just i love it i love it how they do this i cannot make this shit up at all first of all it's the first quarter moon in virgo last episode we just came off that first quarter moon in virgo energy please go back and watch that episode if you missed it i promise you there are some valuable gems in there in all of these there are and I know they're quite lengthy, y'all. I can't help that. That's just what spirit gives to me. It is what it is. It's for somebody. And like I just was saying about the environments you're placed in, look at the, what the card says. Assess the situation. I also feel like this has to go back to what it says in the um, in the headers about that personal res uh, personal issue coming to resolution or whatever and your answers you will be you will receive the answers you seek whatever how i already said it y'all know what i'm talking about it's gonna take for you to heal it virgo energy is all about that beautiful healing overall thank you for that beautiful breeze y'all i feel you thank you spirit thank you thank you thank you i'm telling y'all virgos also sit they're they're very i heard practical but we see things y'all we see things that probably most would overlook or not even pay attention to it's the attention to detail it's the 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 fact that actions speak louder than words we don't that's why i be telling people <laughs> especially the crew that that works with my my family it's like i may not always say something because a lot of times it's not even worth saying really i just i need i want to see what you do because i shouldn't have to tell you you grown you a grown-ass adult you know what it is I shouldn't have to tell you what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Will you do it without being quote unquote chastised? You know what I mean? Or spoken to. That's what I look for. Because that tells me a lot about you. It really does. Are you an initiator? Will you go do it and go get it on your own without having to be told? Or do you have to have somebody hold your hand and, and drag you along and tell you or show you each and every step of the way whatever i feel like many of you are going to have to especially if this is something that if you are even ever if there is ever a question ever any doubt you need to go on and let it go because god is not a god of confusion you should be at peace whenever making any kind of decision especially you know especially especially when it comes to change or whatever now, I get it. Sometimes God will come through and, and, and show up and show out in a, a myriad of ways. And sometimes you got to go through the chaos. Really, that's only, again, going back to the, the finisher. It's only to test your resilience, right? Will you withstand the storm and have peace and be patient through it all? Knowing faith, right? Knowing that all will work out in the end for the highest good no matter what. If it is meant for you. You understand? Mm, 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 mm. She's very much so at peace. It's almost like she's. I'm getting this as even like she's manifesting. Like that's her cornucopia. That's her door to romance. Or even prosperity or abundance. That she's manifesting in front of her. Because she's sitting in. I mean obviously her back is to us. But she's still sitting in meditation. And I, I don't know. I'm getting this vibe of this is the world she's creating. We are powerful creators. Mm-hmm. Anyway, moving on to the bottom of the deck, y'all. Mm, that's beautiful energy. Look. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I promise, I just, I cannot make it up. My God, this just wraps it up right here. That's enough said. And look at it. First quarter moon in gym, man. Speak your world into being. And what did I just get through seeing coming off the, the Virgo? First quarter moon in Virgo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then even in this, look at them. They, they are reflect. She's reflecting. That's the twin in energy. Whew. I heard, I'm hearing light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. I don't know what that is in between them. Or maybe in the background. I have no idea. I don't know if that, I, I, I heard, that's, I got feathers at first. But, I mean, it could be birds. I have no idea, really. I can't really tell. Either way, it's, it's that air energy, regardless of what it is. It's that air energy. Speaking, putting it out there into the ethers. You understand? What is it that you truly desire and that you want for yourself, for your life? Wow, that's powerful. That's powerful. Anyway, <laughs> let me let's get on into these readings, y'all, before we get into the um the rest of the cards or the crystals. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that's enough said. I really don't have anything else to say because that just sums it on up. So we'll start with the headers. All right, you guys, starting with full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Pages 72 and 73. This card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth, but remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now, you need to guard it against indiscretion. The answers you need may well come soon. The issue you're facing could well be one or a few conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirty may be called for. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message, quote, least said, soonest mended, end quote. Like I said, you ain't always got to say nothing, for real. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. Words have enormous power. As metaphysician Florence Scovel Shin, and they give the years, put it, quote, your word is your wand, end quote. You create magic in your own reality every time you express yourself. That's perfect because it gets into the manifestation and wraps this thing all up just in a nice little boat. <laughs> when you're attuning to the moon, I like to look at these as affirmations. It says, have an important conversation, but stay calm. And that's with an exclamation point. Have an important conversation, but stay calm. Additional meanings. Don't be superficial. Someone is trying to flirt with you. Have you noticed? You need to laugh off this situation and just move on. Job applications have good prospects. The teaching. Talk, talk, and more talk as the emotional full moon moves into the communicative sign of Gemini. It's too easy to say too much, so mind how you go if you pull this card. This card can also indicate an enjoyable social event. Since the full moon in Gemini is a great time for socializing, this card also augurs well for any study you're either taking or considering. Moving on to a personal issue reaches resolution, which is full moon in Cancer, pages 74 and 75. Things are likely to get very heated as full moon in Cancer is a super emotional sign. So there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. It's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around, so tread carefully as you move toward your goals or dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up. Nothing to worry about. It signals a challenge is now coming to an end. This card also suggests both that a domestic matter or private issue will soon come to a head and that it's a great time to move house. The answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. This is the time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. When you're attuning to the moon, it says, It may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. It may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. Additional meaning. Meditate to soothe heightened emotions. Don't be clingy. Stop sulking. Have you had enough family time lately? <laughs> what have you done for me lately? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> the teaching. The heightened emotions of the moon cancer combination can be ignored. However, Cancer is one of the moon's two home signs, and in parentheses they say along with Taurus, 
So astrologically speaking, the moon loves to be in this sign. In fact, she rules cancer. This means that with this card, there's a sense that, quote, all is as it should be, end quote, or, quote, don't worry, all will soon be well, end quote. All writers, moving on to the finishers. Okay, beginning with 21, Waning Gibbous 5, Resilience, pages 58 and 59. Making mistakes builds resilience. I have learned my lessons from the mistakes I have made. I stand strong. I am an adult and I act with self-responsibility. The affirmation. I am strong and resilient. I am strong and resilient. As we stretch and expand towards our intentions, we will most likely meet resistance or, wait for it, make mistakes or fail altogether. This is where resilience, confidence, and our inner will come into play. We might ask ourselves, how much do we really want what we are going for? Does what we want align with our needs and values? Are we really devoted to having it? Do we think we are enough? Do we have the strength to keep going? While all of us at some time have to go through periods of imbalance and difficulty, even of suffering, it is important we learn to grow and rely on our resilience. This is true power from the inside out. Building our reserves of resilience, this ability to stand strong and bounce back, is something that has at its heart wisdom and learning taken from experience. I laugh um, because that's that sage wisdom coming through with this full moon energy, that heart wisdom, right? Having resilience allows us the solidity and yet the freedom to grow and to take that leap to the next level. It allows us to reach higher with a, with a stability that makes things less risky and allows us to create with a bit more pleasure. Remember, mistakes are simply information gathering. That's it. The less drama and guilt and shame you attach to them, the better. The experience of failure or mistakes is simply one of learning. That is all. As we move around the lunar cycle and in life, we can see how things may have occurred before and that we have experience in how to handle them. Even if we don't have direct experience, we can build resilience as an insurance policy against being devastated by the opinions of others. While someone might say something nasty about us, when we compare this to what we know to be true about ourselves, it truly is no great hurt and really just a piece of information gathering, right? That is so true. And it's more about them than you, right? It says a lot more about them than you, um, especially when somebody's projecting. So the companion stone or metal is Azerite, all right? And we'll get into those a little bit later. Moving on to number 11, Waxing Gibbous 2, Fear. Pages 37 and 38. The time for courage is here. Fear is only useful if it teaches you something. You must examine whether your fears are old or new, useful or helpful. Fear blocks flow. Mm -hmm. That's that King of Muse I said, the block, the, the, the never even story gate. And it's like a whole bunch of energy is trying to explode and like uplift her skirt and shirt, right? To, I don't know reveal the nakedness the naked truth is what i'm hearing now behind her heart right of her inner workings i, I don't know something about that though anyway the uh the affirmation is i am courageous i am courageous come on leo if there is one thing that stops people from fulfilling their dreams or even getting things done that they want done it is fear experiencing fear is built in a chemical part of the way our brain works to protect us. Emotions such as fear cause the production of a whole raft of body chemicals that give us the best chance of coping with situations that need our attention to survive. Did I read that right? Emotions such as fear cause the productions of a whole raft of body chemicals that give us the best chance of coping with situations that need our attention to survive. I don't know if that's really written right. Oh, I guess. Okay. All right. There is a healthy kind of fear, the kind that warns us to keep out of a dangerous situation or stay clear of someone who instinctively makes us wary. However, it will be a rare person who does not have at least one fear that does not serve them, a fear that is unrealistic or untrue, or perhaps based on an outmoded experience or something that is buried so deeply we only see the symptoms rather than the fear itself. Most fears have been formed with a positive intent of protection, yeah. We need to separate that intention out and deal with it in a more resourceful and less destructive way if we are to create ease and flow in our lives. Fear has many names. Covert ones are envy, jealousy, codependency, procrastination, bullying, people-pleasing, disconnection. More overt ones are avoidance, 
fear of failure or fear of success. There is, however, a kind of antidote to fear, and it is courage. Fear will, fear will put up an initial resistance to courage, but it has no real long-term power against it. While we can be fearful and courageous at the same time, and I think courage contains a mighty big dose of fear, it really does, we can choose to face that fear and flow through it until we fear less and then eventually become fearless. I love that. The process isn't always graceful. It isn't always impressive because it may be slow and deliberate steps we take. Taking these steps isn't always easy, an understatement. <laughs> it isn't always apparent to others, so it should be about us measuring how far we have come and not worrying about whatever what anyone else thinks. Comparison is useless. Courage is powerful no matter what form it takes. I love that. And the companion stone or metal is aquamarine. All right? All right. All right. And with this first quarter moon uh, or the manifestation um, cards, we're going to start with the bottom of the deck just because it comes first in the book. And so the first quarter moon in Gemini pages 58 and 59. Didn't we just say those pages? I thought we did. Anyways, speak your world into being. Think about what you want. Do you really believe you can create it? Do you believe you have what it takes to do? You? Wait a minute. Do you believe you have what it takes or do you secretly doubt yourself? In parentheses, they say worse. Are you quietly preparing for failure? Say it ain't so. <laughs> I love it. Here's the thing. You can't fool the universe. Repeated affirmations that you don't believe are a waste of time. Believe in your magic. If someone has spoken or written unkind words to you, counter them with kind words to yourself. Try it. Speak your world into being. Talk about it as though it's already happening. I love it. Manifesting mix. Here, you're being asked to feel your way through a situation that's partly sacred and partly mundane. Be compassionate and clever. Manifesting mindset. Ask your soul to speak to you. Listen to your heart and not your mind. I love that. And I heard, listen to your heart and you will see what you want. I don't even know how the song go, but I'm hearing that what you want can surely be. Touch your heart. No, they say trust. Trust your heart. Trust your soul. However that song go. I don't know the man's name, but I'll have to look it up anyway. So listen to your heart and not your mind. Write lists of your goals. Tune into your manifesting powers. It says, the throat chakra is Shuddha is found at the base of the throat and is beautiful sky co sky blue color. It helps you to express yourself. What words are you speaking to yourself and others? Imagine yourself in a column of bright and breezy sky blue. Call in the Gemini constellation and say these words as you press this card to the base of your throat. And again, especially um, uh, when we get to the... Um, uh, what the heck is it called? When we get to the crystal mandala, if, if we find any in there... Um, you do not have to have the decks or the cards to do this healing or any of that. Just envision the card uh, or the energy they're in at whatever chakra they tell you. Okay? Alright. So, this is what you will say. Energies of the first quarter moon in Gemini. Thank you for helping me to raise my thoughts and soul my vibration. Energies of the first quarter moon in Gemini. Thank you for helping me to raise my thoughts and soul my vibration. And one more time for the divine. Energies of the first quarter moon in Gemini. Thank you for helping me to raise my thoughts and soul my vibration. I love it. When to manifest your magic. The best time to work your magic is when the moon is in Gemini on a Wednesday, which is Mercury's day, or during Mercury's hour. And I'll get to that in a minute, y'all. The first quarter moon in Gemini takes place when the sun is in Pisces and the moon is in Gemini. It knows that dreams can come true and a plan helps. Mm -hmm. So um, even at the time of filming, we have already surpassed this first quarter moon. But still, like I said, go back to when you were um, in your journal, if you do journal. And that's why I highly recommend y'all do so. But see what you were doing at this time. And let me let me go back to see. Hold on real quick. Let me check my notes to see when that exact date would have been. Hold on. Okay, you guys, so it looked like, according to my notes, and again, this is Eastern Center time, it would have been March, somewhere around March the 10th, um, was the first quarter moon in gym, 
and um, Gemini affects the shoulders, arms, hands, bronchial tubes, and lungs, by the way. Okay? All right. Moving on to first quarter moon in Virgo, pages 64 and 65. Assess the situation. Stop, breathe, and take stock. Perhaps you've taken on too much. Now is the time to be reliable and practical. Laziness is your enemy. Also, don't be too influenced by the crowd. And they have that in quotes, the crowd in quotes. And what they're saying. Do you still want what you used to want and as much? If so, are you really doing what needs to be done to make your dreams real? Express how you feel, but do it without too much self-criticism or criticism of others. Make an honest inventory about where you could where you could do more to manifest your dreams. In the manifesting mix, the energies at play here are a mix of flirtatious and shy, inquiring and hesitant. You need to work them in your favor. Manifesting mindset. This card asks you to be mentally flexible. Whatever challenges you face, your current situation is unlikely to be at a total impasse. Tune into your manifesting powers. Again, talking about this throat chakra because that, that's powerful though because both Gemini and Virgo are Mercury ruled. So that makes that, and Mercury rules the throat chakra. Again, it may even have something to do with the Taurus, as we've already said, even with that full moon in Cancer, um, underneath the overall, under all for the header, right? Because Taurus uh, rules the throat chakra. So anyways, the throat chakra, the Shuddha, helps you to express yourself, your desires, and whether you need more time to think about something. It's located at the base of the throat, and it's a beautiful sky blue color. So visualize a column of the pure sky blue light pouring down over you as you hold the card to the base of your throat and call in the energies with these words. Energies of the first quarter moon in Virgo, thank you for helping me to towards clarity and confidence. Energies of the first quarter moon in Virgo, thank you for helping me towards clarity and confidence. One more time for the divine. Energies of the first quarter moon in Virgo, thank you for helping me towards clarity and confidence. When to manifest your magic. The best time to work your magic is when the moon is in Virgo on a Wednesday, which is Mercury's day once again, or during Mercury's hour. The first quarter moon in Virgo takes place when the sun is in Gemini and the moon is in Virgo. It knows that it's never too late to change your way of thinking. And again, y'all go back to last episode because we just did that first quarter moon in Virgo. All right. So let me read to you really quickly, um, you know, how to figure out this hour. And again, if I remember, I'm going to have to remember for all of these um, because I keep referencing, referencing this in order to figure out the planetary hour. But it says to work out the planetary hours for any given day, you need to calculate the length of time between sunrise and sunset. Turn that number into minutes and then divide by 12. This is the length of each daytime planetary hour on that day. And it says in parentheses, note, they're not always 60 minute hours. All right. So to calculate the nighttime, you would just repeat the process, but switch from sunset to sunrise. But we're focused on the day hour. So that really doesn't matter. But the planet ruling the day of the week also rules the first hour of daylight on any given day. So we're talking about, for instance, Wednesday, Mercury's day. Right. So we're focused on Mercury being the first planet to rule the first hour of the day. Right. So, the planetary hours then cycle through in this Chaldean order. Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, the Sun, Venus, Mercury, and the Moon until the next day's sunrise. Y'all got that? Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, the Sun, Venus, Mercury, and the Moon until the next day. Alright? Then it all begins over again, starting with the planet that rules that day. And as this is quite complex, she's created a tutorial about how to use planetary hours for anyone who wants to delve deeper. And it is www.moonmessages.com slash planetary hours. All right. So there you have it. Okay. Moving on. All right. Let's get into the crystals really quickly. So the beautiful thing is that um, both of them are on page 70. (laughs) So we'll start with aquamarine first. And actually, Azerite goes from 70 to 71, but still, we'll start with Aquamarine first since it's first. It's a blue-green variety of beryl, astrologically associated with Aries, Gemini, look at that, and Pisces, look at that. It's great for the throat chakra, 
Healing qualities include protects travelers, good for the brain and intellect, helps study, communication, and courage. <laughs> I promise. I promise. It builds tolerance and responsibility. It makes things happen. Physically good for the kidneys, lymph, body fluids, blood, teeth, and eyes. Look at that. What did I say? Teeth and nails. It helps swelling glands, water retention, and swelling. Improves eyesight. Ooh. Cooling in hot climates. Emotionally and spiritually, it brings calm, compassion, spiritual awareness, and development, and reveals truth about yourself. Look at that. It helps judgmental attitude, brings you in contact with your inner and higher self, baby, that bring yourself into union. Good for centering and meditation. Gently washes away blocks and chakras. It clears pollutants. And then in parentheses, it says, when used in visualization. I love that, man. That's powerful. That's why I said, ooh, I definitely, mm-hmm. You're going to be working with that. Anyways, and then Azurite. It's masses, nodules, and rarely tabular and prismatic crystals of azure or paler blues. Astrologically associated with sage. Um, great for the throat chakra. Its healing qualities include, and that's powerful because um, we're in this full moon going from sage to cappy, right? So you very much so may want to use this. Um, healing qualities, is, it enhances creativity. It's known as the, quote, stone of heaven, end quote. It's good. Physically, it's good for blood strength and the nervous system. It helps with arthritis. Emotionally or spiritually, it's good for psychic abilities. Helps you to express feelings, thoughts, and psychic information. It brings compassion and empathy. Um, I also want to, because I, I know I added it um, in the card, so I'm going to go ahead and read to you this Azurite Malachite combination. It's a combination of these two minerals in the form of masses or crystals. <clears throat> Look at this. Astrologically associated with Sag and Cappy. Mm -mm -mm. It's perfect. It's great for the brow and the heart. And the brow is just the third eye or the sixth chakra, okay? Healing qualities. It says, see also Azurite and Malachite, which I'll probably read quickly Malachite, but it won't be on here necessarily. But I'll just read through it. I don't know. I'll decide in a minute. But anyway, it brings individuality, freedom, rationality, and flexibility of mind and thought. It helps ego, conceit, arrogance, and vanity. Physically, it's good for joints and flexibility, skin, bones, teeth, heart, circulation, gallbladder, and liver. It helps prevent and treat stress-related conditions such as ulcers and asthma. Emotionally or spiritually, it's good for meditation. It can bring the realization that sometimes the most profound changes are the simplest. Yes, yes, and yes. And it helps with anxiety. Okay. Let me find Malachite real quick and I'll read it to you. Okay. First on page 26, it's um, under the crystals for the seven chakras. It says that Malachite is great for the heart chakra and associated with safety, trust, risk taking, and love. Okay. Now the main page, page 49, um, it, it reads crystalline aggregates, druses, botryoidal structures, and clusters of radiating fibrous crystals. Green in color, often with various shades of green and black bands. Single prismatic crystals are rare. More common are malachite pseudomorphs of azurite, which produce a more tabby crystal. Astrologically associated with Scorpio and Cappy. <laughs> Great for the heart chakra. That's the Scorpionic energy coming through too, like I said in the page of uh, emotions. Anyways, um, healing qualities is good for endurance. Physically, it's good for physical balance, eyesight, and detoxing at a cellular level. Good for the health of the pancreas, pituitary gland, blood, heart, spleen, teeth, and immune system. Eases birth and encourages restful sleep. Has antiseptic qualities. Helps asthma, arthritis, inflammation, swelling, tissue regeneration, broken bones, torn muscles, epilepsy, insomnia, rheumatism, cholera, and tumors. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Emotionally and spiritually, it brings calm and emotional balance. It's good for dream interpretation and meditation. It helps depression and manic depression. Okay. All right. Let's finish this on up, y'all, with the other cards. All right. So the only one that I managed to find um, within the crystal mandala is this beautiful aquamarine. So let's get into it. Okay. I mean, as we've already stated, clearly here is telling you to use your authentic voice. Get into that throat chakra, your fifth chakra. Speak with truth, with clarity. Um, this is beautiful because I see something needing to unfold. Didn't I say something about spreading your wings? You know, 
stepping out of that fear even in order to um, maybe this is fear of public speaking for some of you because i do see like I, some of y'all have a true angelic voice and it's needing to be heard it's very balanced and stable with all them fours down there and i feel like even with that 444 and this pink is bringing me that loving care and compassion have that for yourself Maybe you have been afraid of speaking up or telling your truth or speaking your truth because you have been hushed. I don't know as a child, told to sit down and stay in a child's place. I don't know, but it's like now, mm -mm. no, baby, you done matured. And I say it, didn't I say with that muse of voices, somebody knows, somebody has the right words to say. Somebody is very mature um, and stable mentally and has that clarity. So don't be afraid. If you ever are, y'all, or can't find the words to the right, feel like you can't find the right words to say anyway, out of fear or whatever, pray about it. I promise you, they will show you, they will tell you, they will give you some kind of sign or, you know, clue or hint or whatever. Trust me, I do the same thing and I'll have my heart to start racing because, you know, it'd be like, because I don't really care for confrontation, right? I mean, not that it even has to be confrontation because I do feel like, especially as I've matured that you can have, a, um, I just heard heated discussion. <laughs> I love that though, but it ain't always got to be like an argument or a fight or anything like that. And you ain't got to be, you ain't, you, you can be so calm and peaceful. And even if there is like animosity or somebody projecting, you know, their fears and their, their anger or frustration or whatever onto you, there's still I've, I've had to find a way that's powerful thank you spirit for this message i've had to find a way to um to really balance myself enough to come with peace and not retaliate with the same energy you understand what i'm saying and that's what i feel like this is saying right here with angel bath call we're gonna get into the reading in just a minute but it's something about being like still being stern or holding your ground, standing your ground, right? And standing in your truth, in your light, right? Um, but at the same time, you know, getting to the tr to, to the core, to the root of it. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes with that King of Muse, it can be so clear cut and straightforward that they may take it as biting or cutting or brash or harsh or insensitive, knowing that's not your intention. But you got to understand where people are at in their space, in their life. And it's not to say that you need to dumb it down or 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 minimize, you know what I'm saying, the the, the correctness or maybe that's not even the word. But I'm because I'm just seeing a dagger going straight to the bullseye. You know what I'm saying? Like a, 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 a art. A, what you call it? What you call it? Dang. It's archery, but it's, it's you know what I'm saying? It's hitting, it's hitting straight, the dagger. That's what came out at first. But it's, you know, that sword, really. Like, and that can be, the truth hurts sometimes. Let me just say it like that. And some people don't like the truth. And a, and a hurt dog will holler. Ain't that the, the saying? So when you start speaking the truth, for real, for real, watch watch, watch how them snakes come on out. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they don't know any other way. People will be on the defensive. You ain't even asked for all that. You was just staying in your lane, speaking your truth. But... Mm, 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 mm. watch what i tell you watch what i tell you and you'll see you'll see I, I just heard the reels from the fake wow but i'm just you'll see it you know you'll see <laughs> told y'all i can see clearly now the rain is gone once you come out of that shell out of that fear you know mm, 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 mm. okay i don't know but that's what i'm really getting some of y'all truly got it. it's like pure it's angelic and I mean, I'm talking about it's like a voice of the gods, God, goddess. I, I, that's what I'm hearing. I don't know. I don't know. And that's what you're needing to speak because I feel like, like I said, that's why I, when 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 I be bringing you these messages and stuff, you know, I be it be it be what be coming from the spirit. It don't be me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I I pray to remove myself and to remove ego, which is partly that fear, right? Um, but like you said, it's just, it's really just a means of protection for some, you know, that you may have developed, but now, but it's like, it's time to, to, to see or to really separate, you know, the, I, they said the positive and the negative, right? Um, what's really healthy and beneficial 
to protect you. You know what I'm saying? And then what's just false narrative or fear, right? And um, it's something else too about like you are protected. That's why I'm getting here. You are protected. So like I said, pray about whatever it is you need to say. If you if it's coming from the heart, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you got pure intentions behind it and you know you've been divinely guided to, to speak on it or to deliver it. You don't have anything to worry about, honey. You know? You can't help how someone takes it. That's a, kind of what I'm getting to, too, as far as, like, not, not dumbing it down. How they take it is how they take it. That's on them. But if you know you are coming from, a, you know what I'm saying, from, from a place of love and just trying to empower and uplift the other, like I said, some the truth hurts. <laughs> anyway, let's get on because these can be a, a little long. Um, pages 89 through 92. Uh, obviously, sorry, I, I should have even said outside of the number four, the number one, seven and or um, 17 and eight may be important to you. OK, so. We bring you the gift of authentic voice. We want you to know your own truths and to speak them in your own way because you have something of value to share your inner world, your unique viewpoint and the person that you are. When you speak from your authentic voice, you help others relax, come out of their heads into their hearts. And remember the truth of who they are as well. Your authentic voice doesn't have to sound like the voice of any other. It doesn't need to always be soft, <laughs> although in its own way, it will always be loving. Your authentic voice has a place in this world and has been designed to be a valuable part of the sacred choir of soul voices, which creates music for the universe. That's what I'm saying, the voice of God. You know what I mean? I don't know. As you trust in your authentic voice, your ability to manifest your divine destiny will grow in your responsible and your responsible use of the power of your voice will help many. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Your authentic voice is like no other. That is why it can take some time to find it. In a way, it finds you. <laughs> Rising up out of the depths of your being. Oh my God, it's coming back to that fear and what I was telling y'all about. And I'll rise up. Oh, we. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, spirit. Mm, 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 mm. Whew. So, in a way, it finds you rising up out of the depths of your being until you realize it is there, being written, spoken, danced, sung, painted, felt, turned into poetry, art, music, color, form, and of course, sound. Y'all, out of all of that, I was getting, I'm, I was seeing they was bringing the music voices back to my mind's eye when I told y'all some of y'all that may need to, y'all may need to dance. You know what I'm saying? To, to express, to help you express what it is that you need to say. You know what I'm saying? To open yourself up. And I'm telling you, some of y'all got y'all got angelic voices. And it's it, you are, like I was telling y'all, creators in your own right. You know what I'm saying? So your voice may be used to do any one or all of these things that they just said. Your authentic voice is the voice of your soul. It is the part of you that speaks in a language not limited by words. It speaks in feelings and truths and visions that others can understand at a deep soul level, even if sometimes their minds do not seem to grasp what you are communicating. The authentic voice, the voice of the soul, is a voice of reassurance, of encouragement, and of love. It can be fierce, <laughs> honest, and stir up the sort of agitation that pushes issues out of the way and allows the spirit to be free to live as it wishes. It can be tender and kind, gentle and sensitive. It is just like the divine love that it expresses, not limited to one particular way. As you seek out your authentic voice, you may be inspired by the way other people express their own voice of the soul. That is fine provided, provided you don't compare yourself with them. If you compare yourself to others and feel that your voice is not as powerful or loving or wise or somehow not enough, stop immediately. Your truths are your own. You have been created according to a divine design and you are as you are meant to be. That includes your voice. Every voice is meant to be different. There is no choir if there is only one sound. The richness of the choir and the fullness of the sound comes from many voices combined. If you have had fear of speaking up, of being judged or ridiculed for your authentic voice, if you have been shamed through any creative endeavor or had your feelings, dreams, or visions scuffed at, dismissed by another, then this oracle brings you a particular message. Your voice of the soul is never truly silenced. It never dies. You might turn away from it out of fear of future pain, but in time you will realize there is nothing that can harm this authentic voice of yours. What did I say? You protect it, baby. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Whew. 
Mm -mm. Let me read that again. You might turn away from it out of fear of future pain, but in time you will realize there is nothing that can harm this authentic voice of yours. It is resilient. Woo, Jesus. Oh my God, y'all. That's where that's where that resilience. It, it. <sighs> they be leaving me speechless, and I think they do it on purpose because they like to see me, you know, just excited. Eleven oh one on the timer as I said that, but my God, my God, it all just like a little bow, you know, eleven eleven, just like a little bow. Woo, it is resilient, y'all. Strong, creative, and very, very powerful. It is the divine light in you that transforms into sound and creation. Even within that fear, y'all. Y'all remember that I told you, let your light shine through. Come on, page of cups. Uh, uh, uh. Anyways, or emotions, whatever. Okay. Mm, it's very powerful. It is the divine light in you that transforms into sound and creation. It cannot help but want to be what it is. A divine impulse yearning for expression. It is safe to let it rise up again and be heard. It can be heard by other souls in many ways. Sometimes even on the inner planes as though you were speaking your love directly into the hearts of those willing to receive your guidance. Even if you never meet them in person. This oracle also brings you a message that there is more to your authentic voice than you have discovered yet. There is more within you to be expressed and you are going to enjoy that discovery. You may be startled at times by exactly what your voice of the soul expresses, but you will feel safe in the knowledge that when you are speaking your truth, you are expressing yourself from a place of soul, from a place of love. Even if the message you are delivering is something that isn't easy to say or for another to hear, like I said, truth hurts sometimes. Remember that when you speak with your authentic voice of the soul, you are allowing the love of the divine to speak through you. I say, thank you, spirit. Trust in that and set your voice free. Mm, mm, mm. That goes back to that fear. That's That really may be what it is for y'all. Fear of public speaking. Fear of speaking up, just period. No matter if it's in public or not, really. Okay, so here's the healing process if you are interested. I heard in curating your voice. I don't know what that means for some of you but here you go um developing i hear developing your voice your sound i don't know but to integrate this guidance you may like to say this invocation now i call upon the crystal angel of aquamarine and angel bath call who loved me unconditionally thank you for the divine healing gift of my authentic voice i allow the unconditional love of the divine to speak through my voice of the soul and deliver its message of love in whatever way serves the greatest good I know when the divine is expressing itself through me because I feel the authenticity of my voice in that moment. When what I speak, express, sing, write, share, or feel resonates at a deep level of truth for me, my expression is sacred and divine. I now dedicate my voice to the service of the divine. I release any fear of expression and the need to be understood or validated by others. Instead, I accept the beauty of my own authentic voice through divine grace and my own free will. So be it. Mm -hmm. If you wish to further integrate this guidance, hold the oracle card with the monocle image facing inwards and resting at your throat chakra, which is at your lower neck at the base of your throat. We already been dealing with that, with that Virgo and Gemini energy, right? Anyways, and like I said, you do not have to have the card, just embody or um, envision this energy at that area, all right? You may like to hold the card horizontally rather than vertically if this feels more comfortable. Rest and breathe in and out several times. Then place the card at the thymus chakra, which is the upper half of your chest, between your heart and throat. Relax. Be aware of your um, breath flowing in and out for several moments. And then say aloud, I choose of my own free will through this in any lifetime and through all layers of my entire being to release any fear of my voice, any memory of shame, judgment, ridicule, embarrassment, or suffering connected with my self-expression and authentic voice. May all beings be restored to their divine birthright of freedom to express their authentic voice as part of the sacred choir of souls through divine grace and unconditional love. So be it. I love that. And it ends, that ended page 91, which is powerful because that's what a 10 and or a one ending, ending this cycle of fear of rejection or ridicule or shame, guilt, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Any of that. And beginning anew, developing, like I said, curating that voice of yours. 
I'm speaking your truth because I'm getting the Ace of Swords now. And I love that. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming through because that's your that's pure clarity and truth. Removing any obstacles just by speaking up. You know what I'm saying? All right. So now open your mouth and stick out your tongue. <laughs> Wiggle your jaw around. Gently stretch your neck from side to side. Say aloud. I am free to express my authentic uh, truths. I liberate the voice of my soul with love. My authentic voice can be heard by all those I am meant to help as the divine wishes it to be in service to the great plan of love unfolding upon the earth. So be it. And then it says, hold the oracle card flat between your palms so you can place your hands in prayer position with the oracle card between them. Bow your head and say, divine love speaks through the authentic, authentic voice of every soul. May this divine voice of love be felt and heard in the hearts of all living beings. According to divine compassion, so be it. And then finally, you can finish your healing process with this affirmation said aloud three times. My, I think you you got a bonus, by the way, because normally there are um, four. And that's powerful because it's five for the fifth for your throat chakra. That's powerful. Anyways, here's the affirmation said aloud three times. My authentic voice is a unique and beautiful expression of divine love. I express my authentic voice freely, openly, and with great joy. All that can benefit from my authentic voice, hear it through divine grace. I love it. My authentic voice is a unique and beautiful expression of divine love. I express my authentic voice freely, openly, and with great joy. All that can benefit from my authentic voice, hear it through divine grace. And one more time for the divine. My authentic voice is a unique and beautiful expression of divine love. I express my authentic voice freely, openly, and with great joy. All that can benefit from my authentic voice, hear it through divine grace. Mm -mm -mm. Look, and I heard, let the church say amen. <laughs> anyway, but for real, that's powerful, y'all. I love it. I love it. Like I said, they just, mm, mm -mm. they wrap it up in a cute little bow, you know, make it all come together. It's by divine design, y'all. I, I, I be trying to tell you, I don't, I, I can't. There's no way that I can really put it together just so. Anyways, moving on. So here we go. As a right, it says, do you want to improve and trust your intuition? Activate your third eye and exercise your sensory gifts. You receive messages from the divine all the time. It is now time to notice the signs, interpret them, and use the higher guidance to create ease in your life. All right, that beautiful blue, that's beautiful. And moving on, you can call upon Archangel Raziel or this may be who is helping you during this time. And here are the affirmations that you may wanna utilize. I am extremely intuitive. My spirit guides and angels send me messages all the time. I am grateful for divine guidance. My mind is clear and all knowledge is available. I awaken my consciousness. I am calm, I am at peace. And then moving on into the Azurite Malachite combo. And it reads, Are you connected with the all-knowing and all-seeing part of yourself? Allow for the unimpeded flow of the information, knowledge, and wisdom that is within you. Seek out calming experiences such as meditation and visualization. Take notice of the signs and symbols around you and contemplate their meaning. And then you can call upon or maybe St. Anne is assisting you during this time. And the affirmations read, I release ego, arrogance, and vanity. I am calm. I am at peace. My spirit guides and angels send me messages all the time. Guidance from my higher self lights my path. I trust my intuition and my internal guidance system. All right. That's beautiful, y'all. So that is what I have. I'm going to leave it there. I pray that it resonates with you. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment your testimonies down below. You never know how this may help someone grow but especially in including yourself. And I pray that's what you're here for. Whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. If you want to join me for another episode, you can check the link in the description box below. I will see you there. If not, please take care. If this is not what you're looking for or you want even something more or extra, um, I do have plenty of pick a card, zodiac readings, general readings, whatever, what have you. You can check the playlist on my channel, okay? I pray you find what you're looking for. Until the next one, y'all be easy. Please don't forget your love and light. It truly makes everything all right. But continue to work on that shadow, okay? Incorporate it, love it, you know, nurture it, heal it, right? Anyways, y'all be easy.
Deuses. Thank you.